Hallelujah. Praise God with street rap. Praise God with bark and tartars. Praise God with tattooed hands. Praise God with arthritic hands. Praise God with smiling eyes. Praise God with stuffy noses and pockets filled with hankies. Praise God in stained glass sanctuaries. Praise God in public houses. Let every living, breathing, big and tall, short and small, beloved creature, praise God. Hallelujah. psalms which is a psalm of praise the book of psalms could be described as a library within a library if you like as it contains psalms covering a wide variety of subjects which include thanksgiving praise lament wisdom and comfort many of them are associated with david but not all were written by or for him while some of the psalms can be difficult to read, they do reflect many of the situations and emotions we face in our lives today. And within this treasury of writing, we can find comfort and solace. During the pandemic, many of us will have turned to the Psalms and either reacquainted ourselves with them or perhaps explored them for the first time, as we found we had more time to spend reading and thinking about God's Word, using the Psalms as prayers or to find comfort or reassurance during the very strange times we've lived through since March 2020. My lockdown challenge to myself back then was to read through the Psalms and I have to confess that it is very much a challenge in progress if you like because I'm not even halfway through but I am keeping going. 
The fellowship group that Frank and I belong to used Psalm 91 on a regular basis when praying for one another and those people we knew who needed our prayers. This psalm is one of protection and assurance which brings the reader peace and comfort in the knowledge that God is always there to protect us from harm. These are the first three verses. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare of the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting in him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the fatal plague. In verses 14 to 16 of the psalm we read, The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honour them. I will satisfy them with a long life and give them my salvation. These last verses also bring to mind verses 30 to 31 from chapter 10 of St Matthew's Gospel where we learn and the very hairs on your head are all numbered so don't be afraid you are more valuable to him than a whole flock of sparrows this is yet more reassurance that god will protect us no matter what we are going through perhaps the most well-known psalm which offers comfort in times of distress and reassures us of god's love and care is psalm 23 the Lord's my shepherd. This version of Psalm 23 comes from the message by Eugene Peterson. God my shepherd, I don't need a thing. You have bedded me down in lush meadows. You find me quiet pools to drink from. True to your word, you let me catch my breath and send me in the right direction. Even when the way goes through Death Valley, I'm not afraid when you walk by my side. Your trusty shepherd's crook makes me feel secure. You serve me a six-course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head. My cup brims with blessing. Your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. I'm back home in the house of God for the rest of my life. This is a favourite psalm for many, which never fails to bring comfort and peace to us in times of stress and worry. For me, it oozes peace and tranquillity, particularly the reference of lush meadows and quiet pools, which we have in this particular version of the psalm. During the pandemic, the Reverend Claire Stainsby wrote a version of Psalm 23, which can be found on the Salford Methodist Circuit's YouTube channel. The gardeners amongst us, and maybe others, might have seen the coverage of the Bible Society's Psalm 23 garden, which was shown at this year's Chelsea Flower Show in September. Videos of the garden can be viewed on their website. And looking at them and the photographs, it's clear where the designer's inspiration came from and the garden formed a peaceful haven at the show. Let us pray by singing or listening to Stuart Townsend's version of The Lord's My Shepherd and may it bring us all feelings of peace and calm. Amen. <laughs> 